the whole ideology of herd immunity is that once you get to a certain point where people have either been vaccinated or have developed their own immunities by being infected with the virus, that prevents the spread, right? If you think about you know, going to a restaurant, if there's like 80 percent of the people inside the restaurant who haven't have already been infected or vaccinating, the, the other 20 percent are, are, are relatively safe, right? So you get to some kind of threshold where the virus itself can't spread more. But here's, here's the problem. Now, this is why, again, I keep thinking the CCP is really, uh, this, is, this could be a bioweapon. It's like the mutations, Steve, the mutations upset the whole concept of herd immunity, because if you have a mutation that the vi- vaccine does not work and or you have a mutation whereby if somebody got the virus already, but then can get this new mutation again because the immunities they built up don't work, then boom. So, so that's why, you know, we're in a world of uncertainty and risk right now going forward. There's a lot of people thinking, hey, you know, it's, everything's going to be fine in six months and we're going to all get back to normal. But this is why the Chinese Communist Party needs to be investigated. We, we need to get to the bottom of exactly what they did. Did they do gain of function? Is this a bioweapon? Are they intentionally allowing this thing to mutate? Did they figure out mutations when they were doing gain of function? Because this thing, Steve, it's not normal. This, this, this virus, I mean, the whole thing of asymptomatic spread to begin with, that's not a normal characteristic of SARS viruses. The idea, that's, that's like straight out of a Jack Bauer 24 uh, episode where you send these Chinese nationals on gleaming uh, jetliners over to the U.S. that don't have symptoms. Yep. And the next thing you know, the new, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it, this, it, next thing yeah. you know, you got okay, New ha, York ha, ha, uh, ha, basically okay, having got, a crisis. We got, we got 15 seconds. How do people get to your reports? Uh, PeterNavarro.com and then uh, Real P. Navarro on Twitter. Although uh, my my Twitter account uh, went dead for about 24 hours after I posted yeah. something about sure. the president's speech. So yeah. Twitter's got to get their act yeah. together and read the okay. First Amendment. Let's start with that, Jack Dorsey. They, the okay. First okay. Amendment.